rev up your engines. Welcome to Mechanic Monday. Today I'm going to show you how you can fix parts in your car instead of just replacing them. Now as you can see here, this part of this valve is broken off the plastics cracked. This particular part costs an awful lot of money because it's a computer controlled vacuum solenoid. And due to the overuse of plastic parts in cars these days, a lot of times when you're working on a car, especially an older one, when you're moving stuff around, you're going to break a lot of that plastic stuff, but you can repair it rather than just replace it. I use JB Weld Quick 2-2 Epoxy. Now I'm sure there's a lot of them out there that work, but when I find something that works, I stick with it. Heck, I've been married to the same woman for the last 40 years. Now I use the JB Weld Quick because it sets up in 5 to 10 minutes. Now you still want to wait 12 hours for it to cure, but since it sets fast, it won't come apart while it's fully curing. Now here's a trick I learned years ago. Get a little piece of tubing that fits inside where it's broken, and you can slide that inside, like that. Then you can epoxy it in place so it won't leak, and then the hose can go back over the top of it when you're done, and it will seal it perfectly. Now the JB Weld is easy to use. Just get a piece of cardboard out of your recycling bin, then make a line of the JB Weld quick sealer, and an equivalent line of the hardener, then stir all up so it's mixed, then put some around the little tube you have, and stick it inside. You can see it's all sealed in now, and in 5-10 minutes it'll be dry enough that you can put it back together on the car. But like I said earlier, if it's any kind of a high pressure situation, you really want to let it sit for about 12 hours so it fully cures, so the pressure won't bother anything. Then you might well ask, how strong is this JB Well Quick? Well, believe it or not, Years ago, I had a customer with a Volvo, and they had a little crack on their head of their engine. So I thought, oh, what the heck. I drilled the hole out, make it bigger and round, then I put JB Weld and a screw in there, and three years later, they were still driving the car. It actually fixed the engine. And remember, since this is Mechanic Monday, I'm giving away some of this JB Weld quick. To get a chance to win, just post a clean, non-offensive comment on the YouTube comments below, and a computer will randomly pick the winner. And now you know how you can fix parts on your car when they break, instead of buying expensive new ones. And remember, if your car has any problems, just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.